It's raining, it's pouring, the old man is snoring. Well, it's raining, it's not exactly pouring, and it's more like the old lady was snoring <laughs> with us. But anyway, good morning, welcome back to Sitara, a very wet Sitara this morning. We've had to drive over to the block. Suzanne has quickly gone a, done a quick wee walk. And then we're going to try and go and see if there's anything. Generally, the rain tends to, you know, chase the animals away as well. So you don't, well, we've never been very lucky in the rain. But we're going to try and see. We might just be lucky today. Oh, here she comes. Now we're going to go for a drive. Oh, <laughs> hello. Okay, we're going driving now. Okay, so we're taking a quick drive through the campsite. It seems like it's emptied a bit from yesterday. Yo, yeah, it's emptied a lot. Trust us, to arrive here to like one or two sites in the blazing sun and then the next day, poop, everybody leaves. Wow, there's a big hole. Yeah. There was all, it was all full yesterday there. It would have been closer to a block which is over there but we have to walk a mile so that's good because we're losing weight oh yes every time you go to the block it's six kilos less go this way isn't this isn't this just past the petrol station or out I suppose so. I don't know oh, okay then I'll roll the turn mm -hmm. now no we roll I don't know I was not following that stupid car yeah you see I'm, I'm not always clueless as to where I'm going are so narrow. Yes. Here we go. Right. Look for leopards. There's a male with the whole pride. He just got up now. Now he's not moving. That's a it's a whole pride with cubs and everything. But the whole pride was too far for a video, so we moved on and found a hungry baboon. Hmm, what a good name for a pub. <clears throat> the hungry baboon. There's a baboon sitting on the side of the road here, having a feast. I don't know what he's eating, but... Oh, baboons are so fascinating. Speaking of pubs and hungry, we were getting hungry, so we went in search of a picnic site and ended up at Tsukwan. Lunch time, we're at Tsukwan picnic site. It's quite busy, but we've got some jaffles. Um, Babuiti style mince jaffles. They're very nice, very fruity. Mm. Mm. I see the monkeys. Mm. And then we're having some chips and some coffee. And there's the monkey. And there's mine. And the monkey is sitting up over there. Can you see the monkey? I see the monkey. But anyway, I'm going to have my food before it gets cold now. Ice cream. It's the only time I ever eat ice cream is when we're out on the road. Mm. 
Generally, I'm not an ice cream person, but then all of a sudden I get very ice creamy. <laughs> <laughs> so it's pudding too. Oh, um, yeah. Yeah. So now we just need to pay for this and then get back on the road and... Yes, I don't know what we'll see this afternoon. Gotta look for cheetahs. Gotta look for cheetahs. Yes, that's the only thing we haven't actually seen at all. Yes. Okay, let's go. Okay. Yes, yeah, I'm here. Oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I'm just going to show you the tree that everything is built around. Right. Oh, I think we avoided the hectic lunchtime rush. Yeah, okay, so anybody for the toilet? No, I think I'm good. Okay. You're gonna go to the toilet. I think I'm going to go to the toilet. Oh, okay. Well, if you go to the toilet then. Okay. <laughs> Okay, so we've stopped here at Open Dam after a lovely Jaffel run, Jaffel lunch. Yes, let's go and look what's what's down here. Yeah. And oh, you get a little bit of a walk to walk for lunch. Yes. Little terraces here, that's nice. Ooh, let's go closer. There's crocs down there, or two. There's one out and one's a half in the water, and there's a water buck as well. Oh, yeah, I see they're big crocs, but yes, you never see them on GoPro. Hell, but they're down there. There's some more water buck that are coming up from that direction. I can just see them so through the little stickly branches of these little bushes here. Mm. But um, it's absolutely fantastic when you have the place to yourself and you can just listen to the animals and the birds. Hello. Okay, so we hear there's a little plaque and it says To this spot Ranger Volherter was dragged by the lion and here single-handedly killed the lion with his sheath knife. Now the skin of that lion is up in the museum in Skakuza, but we couldn't go there to show you that because of the monkeys. So there we go. But anyway, it's there. And this is the spot where he killed it. Here's the spot. And it is somewhere on the map. Where are we now on the map? It's something. <laughs> Thank you for that. It's something. It's somewhere on this S35. This 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 road somewhere there. Because that was that was where Open Dam was. Oh, it's all blurry, but anyway, Open Dam. And then we came along here. So it's somewhere along this road here. Now there's another plaque here, but I can't make out. It's all faded. Oh dear. Something about a boom and a mark and something. Oh dear. Someone made something by boom. This boom, obviously, this 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 little stompy here, this tree. Mm -hmm. was obviously something but wasn't that whole thing of um, the lion and everything it, he climbed in a tree or something like that oh yes yeah he climbed in a tree and he was sitting in the tree yes apparently let's see if I can get closer and then read it this okay okay I'll try 
Um, oh yeah, into this tree, Ranger Volhurter, badly wounded, climbed, having killed the first lion in something to avoid an attack by a second which something nearby until assistance arrived. Oh, so he killed one and then to avoid being attacked by the second lion, he climbed up that tree. Right. As far as I can read. Yes. Okay. And there's another little plaque over there. Yes, but I don't know how do you get in and out there. If you go in there, yeah, you well, might I don't. not get yeah. out. So I think we'll just go, shall we? Yes. Okay. Yes. But that was interesting. So if you want to ever see the lion skin, go to go to Skakuza. Um Of course, you know you won't see it here by us because, well, the monkeys destroyed that for us. Thank you very much. Now look for cheetahs. Okay, we've just stopped here now and we've seen a leopard, a leopard standing under the tree over there. Oh, Lynn's trying to take photos. It's all on its own. That leopard is just lying under the tree and we've been sitting here for about 15 minutes and there's not a car in sight. It's totally amazing. We had the leopard to ourselves and then we got the rhino to ourselves but little did we know what we'd get to ourselves next. There's a cheetah walking in the road in front of us. Oh my word, look at that. you see me? Yes. Is it on? Is it on? Yes, it is. <laughs> okay. Well, wow, that was a nice day. Fantastic. Wow. The sightings were brilliant. Um, we saw the big five. This is the third day that we've seen the big five all in one go. So, very exciting, very exciting. And now, we are just going to have some crackers and some some springbuck biltong and beef drovorsch for supper because we're not hungry 
Um, it's still quite warm. Um, at five o'clock it was still 29 degrees. But it's uh, been a lovely and beautiful evening and a fantastic day today. So, yes. And, and we were recognized at the picnic site. You, you're fumbling on your face. Oh, there, sorry, there sorry, sorry. There I am. We were recognized at the picnic site at yes. Sukwon by some subscribers. Hello, you Hello. know who you are. Hello, thanks for the chat, it's so nice. Yes, and uh, I hope you had a great afternoon of sightings as well. Yes. So, we'll say good night and we'll see you tomorrow further down the road.